details tonight following just an unusual scene at a West Phoenix intersection. Take a look at this. That is a car in a sinkhole. New video shows the moment crews were able to lift that car out of the hole. They had to use a crane to do it. A sinkhole opening up near 75th Avenue in Encanto. One woman in the fight of her life in critical condition right now. And I assumed it was an earthquake, uh, but then found out this morning what it, what it was. And what it was, it was a sinkhole. And it's causing quite the headache and stir in a Las Cruces community. Take a look at this massive sinkhole. It opened up last night, swallowing cars and keeping families out of their homes. Now, some people have been checking out the sinkhole now, wondering how it happened. And for some perspective, it's a size of three school buses standing next to each other. 30 feet long by 30 feet wide by 30 feet deep. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Oriana Botaro is live in that neighborhood right now. And Oriana, you spoke to the neighbors today. Five seconds of utter fury. This is the hurricane force wind that smashed Bunbury Prison. Ten kilometers away, it was children in its path. School children run for their lives, sheltering from a tornado that hit hard and fast. Furiously gathering power as it ripped through Bunbury and hurled debris into the air. This is the same youth centre just minutes later. The structure collapsed with about 50 kids inside. Incredibly, every child escaped serious injury. One woman was taken to hospital with bruising. Holy sh me! Oh, it's just like a freight train. It was just unreal. This roaring sound, roaring. It was, it was scary, really scary. The freak system smashing the city about two hours south of Perth. The destruction widespread. Approximately 40 homes shredded. Streets in ruins. Matt Denham's only warning, a terrifying voicemail from his wife. Well, all I could hear was my son like breathing heavily and going, oh God, oh God, and then the line just went dead. With first light came the first idea of damage. Matt Lush now has nowhere to stay. in northern Afghanistan has claimed at least 300 lives. It's also destroyed more than 1,000 homes. And those numbers are expected to rise. The UN Food Agency is distributing meals to survivors who've been enduring heavy rains now for weeks. 